Hey guys, today I'm going to go over all the steps you need to know on how to upgrade your memory on your system. This also might be referred to as your physical memory or your RAM. So I'm going to show you first why you would need to upgrade your memory and what instances if your machine's running slow and you determine because if it is memory. Or I'm going to go over how to determine how, what your system capacity is for memory and determine what kind of memory you should buy and where's the best place to buy it. And then I'm going to go over really quickly how you might be able to uh, install memory on a laptop. Some basic steps that you need to know. So just keep watching and I'll show you guys how easy this is to do. On a Windows system, you want to first open up your system properties and take a look at how much memory you have installed. It will be listed underneath your system information. Then you want to open up your task manager and take a look at how much memory is being used. Under the performance tab, you can see memory utilization. Now if the memory is running really high, you can, your machine might start swapping to disk, which is an extremely slow way of storing memory on your computer. On a Linux system, you want to run the top command. It will list up on the top the total memory used, as well as how much swap is used. On a Mac, you can go ahead and bring up Activity Monitor, which is under the Application, then Utility Folder. You can bring it up and monitor your memory usage this way on any OS X system. Crucial.com is a big reseller of memory. They have a useful utility on here that allows you to determine how much memory your system will support. If you take a look at their website, you can go ahead and browse for the make and model of your machine, and then go ahead and run a small scan. The scan will go ahead and detect how much physical memory is installed, how many DIMM slots you have, and what's the maximum amount of memory you're able to install. It will also provide the information very quickly and easily, and it will tell you um, exactly what are your options, like how much memory you need, what's optimal, as well as like it will list all the different memory options that you have to improve your system performance because if your machine is swapping your machine will be very sluggish even if you have a decent processor if you're running so many applications that's using so much memory on your computer then you're gonna start swapping to disk and you will slow down your processor because the processor is waiting for memory to be loaded on now if you do that you go ahead and purchase from here it's very easy you can ship in a few days once you're ready to install the memory, the first thing you want to do is completely shut down your machine and remove the battery. Make sure the AC adapter is not plugged in. Then you look on the bottom of your laptop and look for a small symbol that looks like a memory dim. Now, a memory dim looks similar to what you see on the screen right now. So once I open up the cover, it looks like this. I'm going to take out my old memory. I'm going to pull off on the sides. There's some little handles. Pull on the side, and it's just going to pop right up. Once I can do that, I can slide it out gently. Be sure to do this very gently. Be sure your hands are clean. You might want to touch a magnetic surface to remove any static electricity. And if you have a, a, a static mat, you can go ahead and put the laptop on that. So again, I did the same thing to the second one. This specific laptop only has two dim slots. Now if you notice that from a different angle, let me show you the dim. This is what it looks like. Just be sure not to touch the bottom metal pieces. Now the reason you don't want to do that is because you get any oil on there, I have seen them uh, burn out. So just be very careful not to touch. Only touch the sides if possible. You know, definitely don't touch where it contacts to the computer. Now here is my brand new crucial memory once I've taken out my old one. So I have it, it's shipped. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this right in. I'm going to remove it gently out of the box. And again, see how I'm holding it onto the sides. And I'm just going to slide it in. And I'm going to just press down slowly. I will repeat the same process with the second dim that I purchased. I'm going to pop that right in. And then I'm going to put on the cover back on. So once I feel everything is nice and securely tucked in, I'm going to go ahead and put that cover on. I'm going to snap it down in. And I want to make sure I screw in all the screws. So there's about six on my laptop. So just make sure you screw them all down. And once you're able to do that, you're able to put in your battery and go ahead and power it on. At your very first boot up, you want to make sure that the memory is being detected. So in the post screen, similar to what you see on the screen, you might see some indication of some memory being detected. So it should have MB OK as you see on the screen. The alternative is to go into the system BIOS and take a look in there. Usually one of the function keys or a combination of keys will bring up Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, subscribe to get updates, and I'll see you guys next time.